Well, hello again. I move pretty fast. I know. It just occurred to me that you might be curious about this door. It's actually a training area for my Zars Airborne Squadrons. However, I'm afraid it's out of my jurisdiction, so don't expect to get in there unless you have contacts. Other doors require heavy firepower to open. My Zars security isn't subtle. Oh, and before I forget, Bella left this key for you when she passed through. Where was she headed? Hmm. There was some mention of scavenging for supplies on the old SS Anubis. Better get moving, Juno. Hey, I got the right key. Nice. Let's find this door. Juno can't open this door. Real fake. Here we sell real fake doors. You don't. You, you get yourself not a real door. We got real fake doors though, and you can place them anywhere. Honestly, you just. You, you, you be in your house, so you just set up a door. You'll be right next to a window for some reason. Ob there obviously isn't a door on the other side, but you got a real fake door. It just could be the de decor. Real fake door decor. I really do like real fake door decor. Uh, it's It goes well. Why can't I pick this up? I don't understand. Real fake doors. Get, get your doors wh wherever you can get your doors at. We don't really have location. Just call us. Genuine fake doors. Genuine fake doors here. Yeah. Alright, you come down. Come to the store. You buy a real fake door. We set it up for you. We send we send a guy out. It's it's non-negotiable. Comes with the cost. We have a guy that sets it up. It's genuine setup for a real nice mahogany fake door. Uh, it's to really confuse intruders. Thinking that let's say you do have a burglar and you're trying to catch him. Are right, you trying to catch him? Say you're feeling froggy one day. Try to catch him. Well, you have a real fake door too, or three, or four. He's running around, he's like, oh shit, I need a door to find, I need to get out of here, where's a door? I really hope this dude doesn't have, doesn't have real fake doors in his ha oh, damn, he does, this is horrible, oh, and then you're like, ch ch this is a diehard, motherfucker, you got stuck by my real fake doors. When you just unload, you pepper spray him, motherfucker. A fake fake door is just a locked door, but a real fake door is decor. Sorry, I get to I get on tangent sometimes. I just like to talk. What are you doing? No. The real fake door rant grind. Uh I mean, who wouldn't want to have a real fake door? I mean, really, come on. Think about all all the positives that come with real fake doors. You can learn you can learn a new skill in turning doorknobs. You can learn how to properly hold open a door for someone. Uh, you can learn to look and appreciate at the rich textures that come from the wood of the real fake door. Uh, you can learn how to properly look through a peephole that uh, sadly doesn't have anything on the other side, but there's a peephole and you can learn to look through it. Um, yeah, it's great things. Great things that happen with real fake doors. I mean, there's the the greatest things of all time come from real fake doors. It's just it's a known fact. It's been a fact for like 5,500 years. Go back, read a textbook, research something, learn yourself something. You freaking real fake doors have been around forever. <laughs> Please do all the all the fake door rants. You just don't understand my love and passion for real fake doors. My favorite come out of like uh, and my favorite doors usually have come out of like Jamaican balsa wood. You know, it's real light stuff, right? Real light, real light. It's like it's like the styrofoam of wood. You know, like if you it's 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 kind of like why would I want to get something that's super like super heavy that I can just get something super light and does the same thing? I can turn doorknobs. I can I can even like carve in my own little like faux window areas. And it's like the same thing as like, uh, you know, you have a friend that has a Yeti cooler. Like, why do you want to spend like 3000% more on a Yeti cooler when you can easily just get yourself a nice, tall styrofoam cooler? It does the same thing. It has a lid, has clasps and everything. It holds ice. It, it holds in cold very well, just long enough for you to, for it to be cold, you know? So what's the point of needing, like, what, what do you need? What do you need a heavy door for? You're making balsa wood is where it's at. Okay, I don't even know if it's a real wood, but we made it. Okay, we created it in the lab. It's our new real fake door coming out. It's a new line. We call them uh, the angel real fake, or the, uh, the angel hair fake doors. Okay, they're really light and they're bright. 
the light brights. You can probably play light brights on them too. You can probably hook up some LEDs on them and whatnot, and really make the real fake door decor really pop and stand out in the in the living room or wherever you want. You can put one in your bedroom too. I mean, you could actually just like have real fantasies about like door fantasies. Do you, like I feel like that could be a thing. You know, I don't judge. I don't care what you do behind your real door, you know. But make sure that the real fake door understands what's really going down. Okay, don't 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 show the real fake door too much. It might it might might be bad. I went off on a tangent again, didn't I? Also, what is poggers <laughs> door? <laughs> uh, real fake doors. That's where I'm at in life on on stream. Is real fake doors rant? Real fake door. I knew it was going to win. Real Fake Doors always win. The Real Fake Door Club. I want to start a club for Real Fake Doors. Real Fake Doors for Real Baked Whores. That's going to be our slogan. We sell Real Fake Doors only to Real Baked Whores. RealFakeDoors.com. We sell them to Real Baked Whores, but we only have stores that hold three floors of Real Fake Doors for your decor at home. It's time for a website. RealFakeDoors.net. Real fake door whores dot net. Whores for real fake doors dot com. We come for fake real doors dot com. Dot gov. Real fake doors. It's my first merch line is real fake doors. I'm a whore for real fake doors. And then on the back of the hoodie, it's literally just dot gov. We gotta keep that. It's going in the Discord. Someone remember real. I think I'll remember real fake doors. All the all the real fake door rants that I'm having. If I want to make real uh, real fake door rants constantly and they get old, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna do it, man. This is the best bit since you started streaming. <laughs> but you know, it's also I, I do like the bit. This bit's probably the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I like to pair my sliced bread with the new seasonal real fake door line. They're, um, they're thin sliced real fake doors. Some people like to call them wallpaper, but no, it's triple ply. So it's like thin sheet, real fake doors. It's the it's the new line, you know. It's seasonal. I mean, when you go to, when you go to Thanksgiving, you shave off some ham, right? Shave off some turkey, shave the meat down. Why not have some shaved real door, real fake doors? Makes no sense. I mean, it's it's almost like it, it's it sells itself, right? It sells itself. You have to have real fake doors. That's why we have that new seasonal line. They even smell like stuffing and cranberry sauce. Okay, it goes well. It pairs well with a nice pinot. Get yourself a real fake door right now. Dot gov. Real baked dot doors net. We're whores for doors. Real fake ones. Better capacity means more storage for inventory, right? And more storage for inventory means more real fake doors. Please buy my real fake doors. I'm getting tired of being the only one buying my own merch. Please get real fake doors. Guys, you have you don't understand the surplus I have. Like I over overestimated how many I really got. Like I was on the inventory sheet. And I only wanted like twenty-five crates. You know, twenty-five pallets worth of real fake doors. I got like three mahogany, sixteen oak, and then the rest you're making balsa. You know. I have to get enough of the oak so I can do the seasonal shave down real fake door, you know, it's inventory. But on the sheet instead of doing twenty-five I did 250, so you know I got a surplus of stuff, right? So instead of 19 oak pallets, I got 190 oak pallets. And, you know, it's great. Oh, oh, let me tell you, we're very inclusive. Yeah, we have all types of colors. My favorite is it's a pastel mauve. I really like the milk toast version, the very average, boring version. Mine's a mauve. I love it. It goes. You know what? Even better, eggshell white. You can't get any you can't get any cleaner than eggshell white because it goes great with literally every wallpaper and paint when people don't want to paint. So eggshell white blends right in. It's like camo. That's a big seller right there. It really it really messes with people. Like if you're a prankster, you like you get a, a real fake door that's white. People are like, Oh, I'm gonna leave now. Thanks for thanks for the sandwich and thank you for, you know, the the back massage and watching some T V and whatnot. I'm gonna get out of here and they try to open the door and they're just like oh, what? That's crazy, you got me. Aha! I'm gonna leave now. And if you have like some emo emo people in your life, we got pure jet black doors. I mean, I even went above and beyond for my customers, okay? I went and purchased about two, maybe possibly three 
tubs worth of Banta black, which is like the blackest black known to man. If you don't know it, look it up on YouTube. It's really cool. Banta black. But uh, I decided to paint some... I decided to let my inner creative muse out, right? And I just dunked every one of those doors in Vanta Black. And at nighttime, you can't even tell where the door is, dude. It's crazy. And it, just make, it makes for a really good really good door. Like Halloween at night, people will never even know where to trick or treat at, right? Like, they try to find the door, like, ah, oh, I can't find it. There's there's no light out here. And you're like, I know that's the mystery of my Vanta Black real fake door. Because on top of finding the door, my real door is painted Vanta Black. And also my real fake doors on the outside are Vanta Black. So you don't know which door. And even if you find one, who knows if it's real? Because there's no people. There's no windows. I got like 16 real fake doors, Vanta Black version, surrounding my house as we speak. They work, folks. What, where am I going with this? I love it. I love it. This is the kind of like stream of consciousness that I need. I love this shit. Don't run away. The prices are too good to beat. Buy our real fake doors now. <laughs> I'm gonna take all your stock now, bitch. Give me your real fake doors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's just mad he didn't get the employee discount. Got his ass. Ah. How did I die? It's almost like we they had like real fake barrels too. That's a new line we're gonna come out with. Real fake croft and barrels. It's literally like everything croft and barrel has, but it's fake. Doors? The sequel. It's a, it's it's gonna be a sequel. Yeah, there's gonna be like there's like a seven movie seven movie contract. Yeah, we have a five uh, we have like a seven movie contract too. Like we have some really quirky characters with our real fake doors, but we had to like actually add in real real doors because people were getting a little upset that we were all about the fakes and they thought we were just, you know, not good people. We, we They thought that we were typecasting our doors. And I was like, no, that's not even the case. It's just we had a thing in mind, you know? Real fake doors in Scotland was a great hit, right? So we, we went out there. It didn't really work for them because, you know, if you know how untreated wood works with, with moisture, sometimes it can, I don't know, expand a little bit. So a lot of our actors, a lot of our, re our real fake door actors um, kind of kind of blew up a little bit and not in a good sense. You know, they, they kind of got bloated. They got bloated from all the, the moisture, the precipitation that came down. Um, but it was a great movie. Great movie. Great place. We went out to eat. Met some met, uh, met some celebrities. Uh, it was pretty great. Uh, I didn't take any pictures. Didn't didn't feel like I needed to. Just take my word for it. I'm a credible man. Doors 3. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. I think we're going to try and get... Uh, we're going to try to get Oak Pit to be the main guy. Heard he was good. He was good in, he was good in Bark Club. He's a good actor. He's a real good actor. Real Fake Doors 3. Bark Club 2. That's going to be the name of the, the movie. Real Fake Doors 3. Bark Club 2. And we're going to bring in Oak Pit. Brad Pitt's tree cousin. So, it'll be, it'll be a smash hit. Doors 4. Water damage. This is when they get older. When they start realizing they need to get a new coat of paint. They got to get themselves slimmed down. Like, the new year, new me. And they start realizing they're getting older. Their, their hinges are rusting. They're getting um, oxidized hinge joints, you know, so they really need to put on that uh, WD-40 oil uh, when they wake up in the morning. It's 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 tough, but they learn to get through the day. They do. These uh, re real fake doors really do learn how to get through the day. But there's some tough cookies. Tough cookies. I would hope so, too. I You know, I, I, some of these boys I raised from when they were young pups before they even had their own, their own door handle. But I digress. No hinges? Yeah, this is when we're in the future. We're, we're, we're older. We finally accepted technology. And uh, we've gone to what I would like to call the sliding door. The real the real fake sliding door. We've, we've, we've come into contact with some people that could create new actors out of uh, fake glass. So we have real fake glass doors. Real fake sliding glass doors. And, uh, yeah. We're, we don't need the hinges anymore. There's no need. We, we can use wheels. A track system. Hell. We even got some that are so futuristic when he, when he like looks down on you with his little red eye. It's like, bing, bing, and just done, you know what I'm saying? When you finish the door, that's when the actors finally come together and they're ready to be sold to be a real fake door. They realize they've had a good life. They've drank espresso in Italy. 
They, sw they swam with the dolphins. They've done everything. So they're finishing their life and they're becoming up for sale in my store. It's a really poetic movie. It's poetic in itself. It's a full circle thing, you know. Um, and then the final doorway is when, uh, when it comes to roost. When it's finally time to go to the old wood chipper in the sky. Or whatever. The, the dump. But, you know, let's just say it's the wood chipper in the sky. Wink, wink. They don't know the difference. They're real fake doors. Who cares? You just give me something, I'm gonna go off on a tangent, I guess. This is why I love this place. Just let, just let my mind go. I think people are leaving because I've talked about real fake doors for so long, and I do not care, because I love the real fake doors. Real fake doors is why I live. It'll be a bit that lives on an infamy, I tell you. It will. Oh, I know, that's, I'm done with life. I mean, I don't ever want to have to go to the fake real doors market. I feel like it's just kind of shitty that way. I don't really enjoy it, you know. I like the real fake feel, not the fake real feel. Wow, it's been four and a half hours. Holy crap, man. I mean, I could go on and on about real fake doors. The market has never been better. Like, I'm telling you right now, okay, I came from nothing. I was in the streets. I was, you know... Oh, shit, I was selling Cheerios by the gram, right? Trying to make a make a way for myself. It was tough. Trying to help people with their cholesterol addiction. It's it's a, it's a tough business. It's really highly, you know, regulated and kept under lock and key. But I did I did my due diligence. But uh, I got out and got into it. And uh, if it didn't land me this little Rolex, you know, obviously it's totally totally a rolex it's you don't have don't don't check don't check the tape it just take my word for it. You, it this is where it gets me okay it got me this real fake doors i think i'm actually get off now now that you bring it up um yeah that was funny i can't believe i just went on a tangent of fake doors yeah i'm done for now